Hey guys, I'm Joe Beretta. You're watching SourceFed, and let's talk about some stuff. It's a bad, it's a bad tagline. The thin, flat line between life and death is going to be stretched to its ultimate tautness by a group of doctors moving forward with experimental suspended animation tests on humans. You guys understand the gist of suspended animation, right? Basically freeze a person and later warm them up to bring them back to life. Kind of like Fry from Futurama, but nothing like that. Ten lucky, very unlucky humans who have suffered from lethal gunshot or knife wounds and were hit with cardiac arrest that would almost assuredly usher them to the grave will unknowingly offer their bodies up to science in an attempt to prove that this potential emergency life-saving procedure is legit. Surgeons from UPMC Presbyterian Hospital in Pittsburgh want to stray from any sci-fi connotations and refer to the deep freeze and thaw out technique as emergency preservation and resuscitation. See, when hospitals are confronted with patients that experience massive trauma and are bleeding out, there is very little time to save their lives. Surgeons are hoping this procedure puts a little bit more time on the clock. When the human body is cooled, cells don't require as much oxygen because chemical reactions in the body slow down. But the problem is the cool the cooling process normally takes a lot of time, something that is not helpful in emergency ward situations. This technique brings cooling to the next level. A patient's blood will be replaced with a cold saline solution that is pumped through the heart and the brain first to ensure their preservation, because they're kind of important. And then the solution will then flow through the rest of the body, decreasing the temp by 10 degrees Celsius in 15 minutes. This is dead time. No heartbeat, no brain activity, no blood, nothing, dead, clinically. But on the cellular level, things have slowed down so much that the cells can sustain for up to two hours, providing surgeons with valuable time to make any structural fix-ups on the body. After surgery, the blood is then pumped back in, the heart starts up, sometimes on its own, sometimes with a jump start, and voila, life saved. It's literally the only time that you'd want a doctor to give you the cold shoulder. Stupid joke. The technique was developed by Dr. Peter Ree, and it worked back in the early 2000s when they were testing it on swine. So we at least know this preservation and resuscitation will work on human males because men are pigs. Awesome joke. According to Dr. Ree, the pigs suffered no physical or cognitive impairment. Ree said, after we did those experiments, the definition of dead changed. Every day at work, I declare people dead. They have no signs of life, no heartbeat, no brain activity. I sign a piece of paper knowing in my heart that they are not actually dead. I could right then and there suspend them, but I have to put them in a body bag. It's frustrating to know that there's a solution. Guys, this could change the life-saving game and it's happening right now. Welcome to the future. Can I take your coat? So what do you guys think of all this? Let me know in the comments down below and for a, a little bit more fun, if you can go through the sci-fi version of suspended animation and wake up in the future at any time, how many years down the line would you want to wake up and why? And no sub like, subscribe, a tape before you go. And oh, one more important thing that I think all of you SourceFed fans should know, uh, there's gonna be a couple changes in my life and I'm gonna be going to the... Uh